Meet Rainbot, the automatic clothes collector, a smart solution that moves your clothes under shelter when it detects rain, and slides them back out to dry when the weather clears. How does it detect rain? Let's see. The rain sensor module has two main parts, the detection board, which senses water droplets, and the control board, which processes the signal and sends it to the microcontroller. So, how does the detection board work? Dry conditions create high resistance in the sensor, blocking current. This maintains high voltage in the circuit, producing a logic one signal, meaning no rain detected. Rain creates low resistance in the sensor, allowing current flow. This drops voltage to near zero, producing a logic zero signal. Unlike dry conditions, this completes the circuit, confirming rain detection. The control board has two pins. The detection board connects to the control board via these pins. The control board then detects the voltage change and sends the sensor data through the analog pin. The control board has four control pins, AO, analog output, DO, digital output, GND ground, and VCC, voltage common collector. VCC supplies five volts to power the sensor circuit. DO gives a digital output, either one or zero. GND is the common ground connection. AO sends out the analog signal based on the sensor's reading. The analog output value ranges from 0 until 1023. When there's no rainwater, the value reads 1023. When rainwater is detected, the value drops below 1023. See this knob? It adjusts how sensitive your rain sensor is. Turning it clockwise increases sensitivity, letting the sensor detect even the smallest amounts of rain. The more you turn it, the more responsive it becomes to moisture. Turn it counterclockwise to the left to reduce sensitivity. Perfect if you only want it to react to heavier rain, not just dew or a few drops. What you will need for this project are YL83 rain sensor, which detects rain and sends signals to the microcontroller. Maker Uno RP2040, which acts as the main controller to run the system. SG90 servo motor, which moves the clothes under the roof when rain is detected. Male to female jumper wires, used to connect all the components together. USB-C cable, to upload the code to make a Uno RP2040. And lastly, a computer with Arduino IDE installed, for writing and uploading the program to the board. Once you've gathered all the components, refer to this diagram to see how everything should be connected. Here's a time lapse of the connection process. The rain sensor and servo motor are connected to the Maker Uno RP2040, with each wire placed correctly to ensure proper functionality. Next is the coding section. The full code is available in the tutorial link in the description below. Once the code is ready, upload it to the Maker Uno RP2040. Let's check how the Rainbot responds to rain and see the system in action before adding the final touches. Now that it works, the 3D printed house will serve as a protective casing. Get the STL file in the tutorial below, then 3D print it using your own printer or a local 3D printing service. Next, attach the servo motor to the side of the 3D printed house. This will control the movement of the Rainbot's mechanism, allowing it to move the clothes under the roof when activated. Let's take a look at everything once it's all done and set up. Here's a close up of the Rainbot. This easy project collects clothes when it detects rain. Thanks for watching. Check the tutorial link in the description for more.